please welcome from the San Francisco Zoo along with their trainer, Mr. Rupert Meshnutting. Lovely to be here. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> That's the way. <laughs> now, it says here that you're a gay animal trainer. <laughs> Correct you are, Sir Jay. Are you a top or a bottom? <laughs> I think you misunderstand me, Penny. I'm a gay animal trainer. I train gay animals. <laughs> the animals are gay. You know, I didn't know that I didn't know that animals can be gay. <laughs> oh, don't be such a tease, Mr. Square Jaw. Of course there are gay animals, including these little chaps. Really? So, so what you're saying here is that cockatoo... Is looking for a cockatoo. <laughs> yes. You know, I've got a band leader who's very curious. Every time Brad Pitt comes on the show, Kevin gets a chubby. <laughs> you know that oh, a Brad Pitt chubby. <laughs> I can't wait to see you in the parking lot. <laughs> now, let me explain. It's hard to put it into words, but may I tickle your ivories? Only if you buy me a drink first. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I'm sorry. I'm oh, gonna... you are so... You're talking about the piano. Go ahead. Get over there, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Rupert Mishnani! <laughs> In the Origin of Species, Charles Darwin liked to say that dressing up and showing off was purely male display. But sadly, scientifically, he led us all astray. For what he failed to notice was, these creatures are all gay. There's a tiny bird in Kent who's ridiculously bent, and a rotting stag who is a total deer. There are naughty big blue whales, and the sperm whale prefers males, and the dolphin is, of course, completely queer. There's a very brazen chip who is very rarely limp, and a shrimp who's pink and utterly obscene. While the small transvestite prawn is completely into porn, and the king crab is, of course, an utter queen. Gay, 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 they all are madly gay. But in Victorian times, that was not the thing to say. In the rough and warm waters, there's a young cross-dressing tortoise and an ass who makes a pass at everyone. There's a masturbating monkey and a terribly rude donkey and a very, very famous lesbian swan. There's a big bisexual elk and a tiny gay young whelk and a snake who is a rake both night and day. And a sorry little sheep who is into Meryl Streep. And don't tell me that the anteater's not gay. The gay, 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 they all are madly gay. 10% of nature's bent, at least that's what they say. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jay. You look and smell divine. <laughs> Coming up next, Kathy Bates and I get into a jacuzzi.